Hey, what is up guys, Silk Hair Reviews here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to motion track in After Effects. So the first thing that I'm going to do is drag in my footage. Now you want to have up here at the right, your workspace, you want it to have motion tracking. So when you click that, you have these tracker options over here. So for this one, I'm not going to do a 3D track since this is a 2D shot. As you can see, it's not moving forward or around. So what I'm going to do is go right here to track motion. It's going to bring up this little track point right here. Now you can adjust this to the size you want. I adjust it a little bit bigger so it gets a better track. And now you just drag in the middle and find a point which has high contrast so it can track throughout the entire shot. Um, I'm going to go to a point right here. So it's a dark spot that's different and you can see it throughout the entire shot as you can see like that. So what I'm going to do right here is click like that to the beginning and then go over to here to analyze and click the analyze forward button. And now it's going to analyze the shot and track that point. And now as you can see it's doing a very good job keeping the track to that point which I set. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to stop it now. And as you can see now my tracking data is stuck to that point. And so if I go back you can see that it accurately tracked. So I'm going to add another point so you can track the rotation as well. So now I just click track motion again and I go in and do the exact same thing. This time I'm going to track a point over here. So select that and then click analyze forward and it will do the same thing. So I think that looks good, so I'm going to stop it again, and I have the same tracking data. And so now I have over here two different tracks. Now what I'm going to do is go to the tree text layer, and go to motion source and my original video clip, and then I'm going to choose my tracker that I want, transform, and then you can select all these different things. I'm just going to leave it as is and click apply. And I'm going to leave it for X and Y dimensions. You click OK, and now as you can see, this tree is now very well tracked to the original tree and it's moving accordingly. So the After Effects tracker is really simple and works very well. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.